Hey guys, um, I just wanted to show you this um, tea that I've been into making recently. It's really simple to do um, in wake of this virus that shall not be named. Um, it's nice to have some different strategies to help keep our immune system strong. Um, and in Ayurveda, a lot of what we want to do in this case is just essentially nurture and protect our immune system so that it um, stays healthy and, and we are not as susceptible to pathogens. Um, a lot of what we're trying to do here is keep our digestive strength strong or our agni and the way we do that is by using uh, primarily warming and drying spices and herbs and things like that so this tea is a really nice way to um, have a beverage to sip on to keep your 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 gut functioning well um, it's very delicious so it's just a nice treat to have during the afternoon when you're at home um, i like to make big pots of this and um, just keep it kind of warm on the stove um, and in this case, I'm gonna show you guys, I use an Instant Pot, which is really awesome too. Um, and now I can just make myself a cup whenever I'm uh, feeling like I want something to drink other than water. Um, in Chinese medicine too, this is um, would be essentially the school of the spleen stomach where we wanna keep the spleen warm and dry and functioning well so that there's not an accumulation of toxins, ama, things like that. Um, so th there's only a couple ingredients and um, I really like to use fresh turmeric. Um, you can find the root at um, Asian grocery stores, Indian stores, um, and also sprouts and, and, and um, whole foods and things like that will also carry it. But So I really like the fresh turmeric root. Um, it's a little bit sweeter and not quite as warming as the dry root. Um, so I like it for that, for that reason. Um, turmeric's really well known for its anti-inflammatory properties. Um, it's also um, antibacterial, antiviral properties as well, um, and keeps the ugly strong, warm, and functioning well, um, aids digestion. So um, wonderful, amazing, amazing herb. Um, put it in almost everything. Um, so I'll just get some fresh turmeric root. I like to use quite a bit myself. So, you know, good sized chunks right here like this, and we'll just slice them up into little kind of penny sized pieces. And the fresh turmeric root too is, um, it's called Haridra in, in Ayurveda. And um, not very frequently used, not so much as in Chinese medicine. Chinese medicine will use it in some pain formulas and things like that, um, but much more of a culinary herb in, in India than in China. Um, and then the other thing I like to use, of course, is um, very well known is um, ginger. Um, Again, the, the fresh form of this is a little bit less heating than the dry, so I'll use this. Um, I, I seem to feel a little bit more medicinal effect with this on the system as a whole. Um, and what we're essentially wanting to do is increase circulation um, or Diana value in the body. Um, we want the body to actually be in these, and with um, this season and things like that, slightly on the warm side. Now, of course, we want to be careful if you're a pitta type or tend towards um, more pitta like conditions. Um, this tea is going to be a little bit warming, so. You just need to watch it and uh, make sure it's not too heating. Um, if you are getting overheated from it, you can add some other herbs or use less of certain herbs. Um, adding up maybe a little bit of um, licorice can work well. Um, even a little bit of fennel is a little bit more cool. Um, or possibly a little bit of milk into your tea as well. So, uh, But fresh ginger is great. Again, anti-inflammatory. Strengthens the stomach and the spleen. Um, keeps the digestive agni strong and functioning well. Um, aids elimination and digestion too, which is another big piece. So we want to always make sure the bowels are functioning well and uh, that we're digesting our food well. Um, if there's undigested food, it tends to create ama at a certain point in the body and, and ginger is one of the primary medicines used to combat ama. So very frequently used. Um, again, a wonderful, wonderful herb. Uh, one of the essentials I think in, that every person should have in their kitchen. So um, again, a lot of times it just comes down to how much you want to use. There's not really necessarily good measurements. Um, I just make some big chunks. I like my tea pretty strong, so I'll use some uh, pretty good sized chunks. Um, and then lastly, we'll just um, use some cinnamon. Um, if you have, I don't have any cinnamon sticks, but cinnamon sticks are also great. They're a little bit um, more warming than, than this powder. Um, the Chinese herb is called rogue wei. Um, and um, this essentially does much of the same thing as these other herbs are doing. We're building the, the force field of our body. So it's called your Wei Qi in Chinese medicine. Um, and we, we want to just make sure the system is going to be um, functioning as, as well as it possibly can. And this is another great way to do that as well. 
um, warming for the stomach and the digestion, helps move the bowels, that kind of thing too. So, um, and gives it just a little bit more sweetness too. So this has a little bit more of a nice flavor. Um, um, and so what I do is, I, you can do this on the stove too. You you probably put about four cups or so of water into a pot. Um, ideally, you want to boil that down to about half, um, just to make a nice strong tea. Um, I'm going to use this instant pot. So this is a wonderful, wonderful tool if you don't have one. Um, so I have four cups of water in here. I don't know if you can see, but um, and then I got a pretty good sized chunk of of um, ginger and turmeric here. So I just drop that in there. Um, just gonna dump a little bit of cinnamon in there as well. Pretty good amount. Um, it's probably maybe a you know, probably a teaspoon or two. Te that's actually about two teaspoons. So pretty good amount. This is a strong tea. Um, when you drink it, if you tend towards more heartburn, indigestion, um, acidic stomach, things like that, and a little more pitta type conditions. Um, you might water this down a little bit more, use a little bit less, particularly this cinnamon. Um, and like I said, you can also add something like some um, either coriander or licorice to this, depending on what flavor you want to go. There's there's nice variations on this, but I like this very simple formula here too. Um, so put these herbs in here, and then I'll just put the lid on the pot. And then you just put your Instant Pot on manual. I learned this from a good friend of mine. Um, and you just need about eight minutes or so. Um, the nice thing with this is it cooks it very, very quick. Um, Instant Pots speed up the process so, so well. And they're also nice because you can just keep it on the stove uh, or on your countertop, I should say, and um, keep the tea nice and warm. And then, like I said, just throughout the day, you can make yourself a little bit of cup. Um, it's nice to do either right before a meal or right after a meal. It will help aid the digestion and that kind of thing too. Um, and then once this is ready, the last piece I like to do is add some Tulsi to this mix. Um, Tulsi is a very well known adaptogenic herb. Um, and in the case of particular times right now where there's so much fear and anxiety in the air, um, Tulsi is just an amazing, amazing herb to use at this time. So um, what adaptogens do is essentially helps your body adapt to outside stressors. So stress is always coming in. There's no end to stress. And if you have a family or a job, you know this. Um, but what, what the Tulsi does is help our body to how it responds to stress. So we talk a lot about building the immune system and it's sort of true, but essentially what we're really trying to do is maintain the immune system strength. So there's not really a way to build the system, but we want to just protect and nurture it more so. Um, Tulsi has also been shown to interfere with virus replication by interfering with the um, cell bodies of viruses um, in some human um, cell studies. So antiviral, antibacterial, um, anti-stress regulates cortisol levels in the body. Um, there's, you know, sattvic herb, um, the divine herb of Krishna. There's not much more you could, could say about this herb of, that you should just drink it. So um, I don't boil this in the pot with these fresh herbs. I'll add maybe three or four bags to that at the end um, and let those steep and then pull the bags out and then I, you have your completed tea. Um, and again, if you like, you can sweeten it up a little bit. It's, I like my tea a little bit bitter already, so uh, I typically won't sweeten it. But if you need, add a little bit of honey to that. Honey is also great for the throat. Um, um, it's an expectorant as well. Um, and what we essentially want to do here is protect the body from creating too much ama or toxicity or dampness or heaviness. Um, particularly to COVID, um, a lot of doctors in China are showing that this is a damp type condition primarily. So. Um, these herbs fight dampness, dry dampness, and help keep the bowels and the apana vayu or the downward movement going. So um, very, very important to staying healthy in Ayurveda is just to keep that flow moving. So we want warm liquids. Um, obviously, we want to drink a lot of warm water as well, uh, but this is a nice beverage and a nice treat that we can also uh, add into the mix. Um, so between this, protect your lung health. Tulsi is also great with the lungs. Um, and keep your bowels moving. You know, there's always, it's always comes back to that at the end of the day. So, um, hope you guys uh, find this helpful. I'll probably do some more stuff. I just want to make this, it's um, sounded like a fun thing to do. So, um, if you need some more information, please get in touch with me. I also do consultations and things like that too. So, um, hope this finds you well. You guys take care. Thanks.